Hey everyone, Corey here with Cabin Honey. So today uh, what we're doing is we're going to be doing a uh, routine hive inspection on one of our hives behind us here. I'm just going to do a quick inspection and uh, show you what I'm looking for and uh, see if they bring any honey in. Um, the clover's all bloomed right now in full bloom so hopefully we'll be adding uh, honey supers uh, on the hive that we're going to go through. And I'm just going to show you what I'm looking for, just a quick hive inspection, routine hive inspection. And then um, our queens, we got to do a little update on our queens. So as you guys know that have been following along, um, we grabbed and grafting queens and did the cell builder and transforming the uh, incubator and all that. Well, we had some issues. I don't know what happened. Um, out of the six queen cells, uh, only uh, two queens hatched. Uh, and today's Saturday, Friday morning when I got to go to work, they were both live. And when I got home from work, the two queens that emerged were both uh, dead in the uh, queen cages, so I don't know what happened. And the other four queen cells, when I broke them open, the larvae were undeveloped. They never, they started to pupate, and then that was it. So I'm not sure what happened there. But um, I've actually never had queens die in the incubator before. It was the first time. I figures the one time I'm actually filming, making a video on raising queens, queens died in the incubator. I don't know what happened. Um, but anyways, I plan on doing uh, more queens here. Hopefully in three weeks or so, I'm gonna do some more uh, queen rearing stuff and I'll film that. But um, let me get the camera set up and we'll go through and do a quick and high inspection and see if the girls are bringing any honey in. And then uh, um, that'll pretty much be it until I start doing uh, queen cells again. I might film some other stuff. Um, we'll see what comes up. I'll film whatever's going on. But um, if you haven't yet, give us a thumbs up and uh, give us a like. All right, so this is one of our uh, one of our overwintered hives. Take a peek in here and see what's going on. Doing kind of a quick inspection of what I would normally would do. Take a peek into the honey super and see what's going on. Hoping we can start adding some more honey supers onto these girls. You see. So you see a lot of, I don't know if you guys see, I see a lot of fresh wax in here. So normally what I do when I get ready to put honey supers on, if they got all the frames filled and they're starting to work on these outside frames, usually when I start adding on honey supers. So normally I just check the outside and see what the outside looks like and I'll check one of the center frames. Yes, outside frames are empty. Yes, outside frames are clearly empty. So they're not ready yet. Oh, this frame's got a little weight to it. Oh yeah. See, I don't know if you can see all the shiny nectar in here. This frame's about three quarters full. The outside edge is full on both sides, and the center is still uh, open. And this frame is really heavy. Oh yeah, this one's full, almost completely full. Completely full, but they haven't started capping yet, but they got they got plenty of room. They still got these. They still got these three frames here from what I can see. These three, yeah, this one's empty too. They're just starting to fill this one here, so they got plenty of room. Maybe next week. They should be able to put a super on these girls. Now let's take a peek in the brew box. Let's see. There's plenty of bees in there. So we're not looking for the queen. I never really will look for the queen too much. All I'm really looking for is uh, looking for eggs. Make sure there's no queen cells, that type of thing. Or anything that pops out, any kind of brood issues. Essentially looking for eggs and make sure they have plenty of room. So I'm not gonna pull all these frames. So this one here is mostly 
It's like some drone brood and some calf brood. I see these big ones that look like a 22 bullet, 22 shell. Those are drone broods and the rest of it's, uh, it's worker brood. So we got a little queen cup right here. That is empty. So there's no eggs on that one. Some more brood. This is all worker brood with a little bit of drone brood in it. This must have just hatched. They got them all these cells all polished and ready, but there's no eggs in them. Same here. So this queen's got plenty of room to lay. It's all cat brood. These here are empty. These two I put in. These two I just put in. These are empty. I pulled two frames of brood out of here. Uh, Thursday. That's what these two blanks are. Well, this one's not any on it either. She's got plenty of room in here. I don't see any queen cells. I don't see any eggs. All right. So this here is all the eggs. These empty cells all the eggs in them. So we got a queen. She's not laying. She's not laying very well. Here's a queen cell. It's empty. That's dry. We'll have to keep eye on this one. Here's a bunch of brood. Here's another queen cell. Queen cup. What you say? These are all dry queen cups. So there's eggs in this one. So this queen either is coming to the end of her life here or she's just not laying very much for some reason. I'll have to keep an eye on her. So these cells here, these all have eggs in it. Oh, well, you guys can see down into those cells, but there's eggs down in there. Plenty of pollen. Lots of pollen. Right there's our queen. There's our queen. She's laying. She's only working these outside frames for some reason. She got all these, there's what, one, two, three, four, four empty frames that have nothing in them at all. Well, let's keep an eye on this one. Something's going on either. She's getting towards the end here and trying to replace her or she's poorly made it sometimes, that happens, but. That's it. That's all I look for for a quick hive inspection. There's, looks like there's plenty of bees in here though. You got plenty of room. And they're planting all the honey in that top box, so that's good. She's not honey bound. So now we're just, it's up to her to uh, lay those frames out. Throw our queen scooter back on and box back up. It's putting quite a bit of weight in here though. That's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next video.